per year. Yeah. You you can show it off at the next Iron Man concert, but that means you it. had to be at that concert. Otherwise, you're is. fucked. That's the one. That's my favorite one. Yeah. I got that one. And the hot black chick on top. Ted Park did that. That's the guy that did the Korean zombie shirt. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn, he's good. He is good. <laughs> <clears throat> That's a great fucking shirt, man. Yeah. And your eyes look sufficiently whacked out. Yeah. People are like, why is Mark Maron in your shirt? Ah, <laughs> that is not Mark Maron. <laughs> or uh, the guy from Grateful Dead. Imagine if Mark Maron went the other way. Super like, drugged out? Yeah. <laughs> He gave up on sobriety and just went all mushrooms. He's totally the other way. How's sobriety going, Mark? Oh, good you should ask. <laughs> <laughs> I bailed. Put this on After your tongue and then let's years, talk. Yeah. I realized, what the fuck am I doing avoiding all the best parts of life? <laughs> yeah, that's that's teaching me. This sober October thing is teaching me a lot. Dude, my bartender last night went to O'Neill's wedding, Ryan O'Neill's wedding. And I was like, do you have any? It's at a brewery. Right. And uh, I was like, do you have any non-alcoholic beer? Like I was saying, like it helps us social because socially it's like, yeah. fuck, everyone's drinking, you know? Um, and he goes, yeah, yeah. He goes, Sober October? And I'm like, yeah. But he, he didn't know. A lot of people know this contest, yeah. but he was just like, I'm doing it too. Did you know about it before last year? No, because no, we were going to do it earlier or later, yeah. but then Bert had an Australia thing. I'm like, there's no way you're doing it in Australia. You right. can't be sober in Australia, and you can't be sober for the Joker's Cruise. Right. And that was November, I think first week of November or something. And so we like just settled on October. So we just stumbled upon it. Mm -hmm. And other people have been doing it for years, apparently. Uh huh. How long has Sober October been going on for? A long time? Yeah. yeah. Jamie says a long time off mic because he doesn't realize we're podcasting. For sure, a while. <laughs> oh, who's that? Oh, what's well, that? sound that in the God? distance. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's um, apparently been going yeah, on for a long time. This guy we was just doing it. Completely lucked into it. Dude, somebody, I was at the Jets game. Somebody sent me a beer, ah! and I was like, "What?" And then I turned, and there's like, I was like, oh, "I can't." And the guy's like, "I was trying to catch you." <laughs> Some dude from the stands. Diaz thinks Bird's drinking. He does. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Really? He goes, "I think Bird's drinking." He goes, "I saw him the other day. He looked guilty." <laughs> <laughs> he ducked his head down, wasn't looking at me. I think he's drinking Joe Rogan. Oh, I've wanted to so bad. I actually oh, needed man. a break this time. I went to sushi. I told you I went to sushi. And when was I was like, oh, yeah, get a nice cold asahi. asahi. Mm -hmm. That would be fuck. It's October. God damn it. It's like it makes you realize now it's not just casually drinking that there's moments where booze really does go well with an experience. Oh, yeah. Steak and a nice glass of red wine. Oh, yes. Yeah. November 5th, son. We're going off. November 5th, we're going November off. November 5th. That's when we're going to do the recap podcast. We're all going off. So Ari and I have been battling for first place recently until today when Tom Segura snuck in the second place with his 400 plus uh, points today. That really puts a pressure on me. It really has hurt me to not. I finally joined a gym because of this. I have to. Blink. It's a small gym, but it's like right near my it's seven minute walk from my apartment. Mm. So I can pass on the way home from the cellar. I can get a workout in right then if I want. That's good. Yeah. It's 24 hours? 24 hours weekdays. Mm. So New York has a crazy fucking life. There's a crazy life in New York. Everything's 24. There's so many 24-hour things. Restaurants. 